So following the physical exam, we're going to be talking about what we're going to be doing from here and what do I think is going on, okay? So I believe what you have is called a lumbar radiculopathy due to a herniated disc. And before that scares you, I just want you to know that herniated discs are very common. It's common amongst people of all ages. And in a lot of people also doesn't cause them any pain, okay? So what is what it is, is is there's a structure in your lower back that's currently putting pressure on this nerve that runs all the way down the back of your leg. That's why every time you have lower back pain, it kind of it brings on that pain that you've experienced in the back of your leg. So in physical therapy, we're just going to be providing you with certain exercises and techniques and stretches to alleviate that pain and also strengthen the abdominal muscles. That way, it takes a little bit of load off of your lower back, okay? Um, I recommend you coming into physical therapy two to three times a week for about six to eight weeks. Yeah, so like I mentioned earlier, it does affect people of all ages, so no worries. Um, it's also common in people who sit forward a lot and also lift a lot of objects off the ground, which is exactly what you do. So, um, yeah, so it could come on here and there throughout your lifetime, but I just want you to know that the best way to prevent it and to keep it from not coming back is through regular exercise and practicing good posture and good technique while you're driving and while you lift boxes off the ground at work. And we'll be, we'll, we'll be teaching you all that stuff later, okay? So we're going to be providing you with what's called an HEP, which is a home exercise program. And what that consists of is just a list of exercises that you can do at home while you're not in the clinic. So the first exercise I'm gonna be providing for you is called a prone press up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be laying on your stomach, wherever you are, whether it's the floor, the bed, or a mat or something. And you're just gonna be laying on your stomach with your forearms touching the ground. And you're just gonna push through your forearms, making sure you get that nice round in your back. You're gonna feel that pressure in your lower back, which should, it should feel like you're alleviating some of your pain. All right, so you're just gonna be pushing off through the ground. And you're just gonna go right back to laying on your stomach with your chest on the ground. You're just gonna push right back up and right back down. Now that's gonna be you're gonna be doing that for what we call three to three sets of ten. So it's gonna be ten repetitions with about thirty seconds to sixty sec or sixty seconds rest in between it. And you can do that for about two times a day, or if you need to do it more often, then you can do that. Um, the next exercise we're gonna be doing is called a bird dog. So what you're going to be doing is you're also going to be on the floor or the mat and you are going to be in all fours position where you have your palms down and you're on your knees. Now what you're going to be doing is you're going to be alternating your right arm and your left leg, lifting it up off the floor, all while maintaining this core stability and just just making sure that you take that pressure off your lower back and make sure you don't arch it. You're gonna be keeping your back nice and straight. Um, that's gonna be working those abdominal muscles like we mentioned earlier. You're also gonna be doing those for three sets of 10. One rep would be both sides. So technically 20 in total if you wanna count it like that. Um, between each set, you're gonna have 90 seconds of rest. And for this one, you're gonna be doing about every other day, okay? Um, also, we want to address the fact that during the physical exam, we found that you had high blood pressure. I don't know if it's like that all the time, but we just want to make sure that your physician is aware of it and that we can talk through various treatment options. And I also want to tell him that you're currently taking the Motrin three times a day so that he is aware and also doesn't give you any medication that might interact with that in a bad way, okay? All right, well, I hope to see you soon. Thank you.